students. This is actually part two. Here I would like to explain about graph students. In the first introduction class or in the first part one concept, I, uh, part one, I was explaining what is meant by coordinate symmetry. I think all are familiar with that particular definition. Definition is very, very important students. Now I will explain certain things about the graph. Graph. What is the importance of graph in our daily life? That is very, very important students. I think now all the children and your few parents, they are busy watching this thing. What is it? IPL matches. I know. Let us consider any two team students. For example, uh, like the Chennai Super Kings and the RCB. Um, in India, there are many fans for both the teams. This is first representation, next one this is. First one is RCB, next one is CSK. Okay. Here, by observing this particular graph, we can say who has won the match. On the top, you can see RCB, therefore RCB has won the match. How many wickets here? You can see some balls kind of figure on the line segment. That particular, this thing indicates total number of wickets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 wickets. 1, 2, 3, 4 wickets. RCB lost only 4 wickets. This is how it will be applicable in our daily life students. I would like to explain certain things in graph. Here, graph consists of two axes. One is horizontal axis that is called as x-axis. And other one is perpendicular to x-axis. This is actually vertical axis. This is actually y-axis. The point where x-axis and y-axis intersects, that particular point is denoted by O or 0. 0 means always starting point. This is actually origin students. If you come across this particular x-axis here, x value is 0. If you come across y also, here also y value is 0. Therefore, one question they may ask students, write the coordinate of the origin. Origin means always it is 0, 0. x, y. If you write two numbers together, for example, 3, 5, minus 7, 6. First number always x coordinate. Second number is y coordinate. Here y is equal to dash means y is equal to 6. Here x is equal to 7 students. In this case, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 5. Similarly, write the coordinate of the origin, this particular point. Here, x is equal to dash 0. y is equal to 0. Therefore, coordinate of the origin is 0, 0. Very, very, very important question. Even in 10th standard also, they will ask. Clear? Origin, coordinate of particular point. Origin is 0. Next, let us consider any one point here. That is P students. Let us draw a line segment towards x-axis and another one towards y-axis. By observing this particular point here, I will write x is equal to 4, y is equal to dash. Therefore, coordinates of this particular point P is 4, 3. 4 means x-coordinate, 3 means y-coordinate. Without drawing this dotted line also, you can represent Next one, here you can consider one point, A. A is equal to dash means, always you should write x coordinate first. Here, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 6. Here, x is equal to plus 2, y is equal to plus 6. Here, x is equal to plus 4, here y is equal to plus 3. Any doubt children? No. Fine. Let us move towards second coordinate or quadrant. Here, let us consider one point. C. X and Y. 
here x is equal to dash minus 2 and 3 minus 2 and plus 3 correct next year in the fourth quadrant here you can consider one point that is d always you should write x x is minus 3 y is equal to minus 1 here you can consider one point q plus 2 and minus 3 here one thing is common students in the first quadrant first quadrant plus 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 10 plus 9 plus 19 plus 20 first quadrant values always it will be positive and positive values x is positive y is also positive in which quadrant both x and y it will be positive ones in the first quadrant x value is positive y is also positive next let us move towards second quadrant students here in the second quadrant first always minus next plus therefore minus comma plus in the second quadrant x value always it will be minus y is plus in the third quadrant minus 4 minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 therefore in the third quadrant values always minus comma minus in the fourth quadrant see here plus 2 minus 3 plus 3 minus 2 plus 4 minus 1 plus comma minus see here this is actually just a introduction for your reference I will rub this particular point students see here in the first quadrant values always plus sign plus plus x plus y in the second quadrant values plus sign minus or minus sign plus it is minus sign plus in the third quadrant negative values minus sign minus fourth quadrant plus sign minus students any doubt one question they may ask in the examination plus 4 comma minus 3 this particular point lies in which quadrant it is in first or second or third or fourth means plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus where is it it is in the fourth quadrant therefore this particular point lies in fourth quadrant any doubt next one minus 3 minus 2 first one is minus second one is also minus 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 means first one plus plus second one minus plus third one minus minus therefore here we can write in the third quadrant this is how you can answer is it clear students yes in the cricket matches and all you can see the graph only in this first quadrant why only in first quadrant means because total number of wickets plus total number of runs plus individual score plus always it will be plus for example total score total runs scored by Yuvraj Singh or Mahindra Singh Dhoni or Virat Kohli means always plus 20, plus 30, plus 100. No one will say today Yuvraj Singh has scored minus 25 runs. Minus is always unbelievable or we can't accept that particular negative value. Always general life experience means always it will be in the first quadrant. Therefore, they will draw only x axis and y axis. Horizontal line is x-axis vertical line is y-axis students you can divide that particular graph into four different parts first part second one third one fourth one first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant four different quadrants therefore in the first quadrant values always 
plus sign plus second quadrant minus sign plus why it is minus means always we should write first x value look at this particular axis here always minus value minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus, minus you can write then y it is plus next here x is minus, y is also minus, minus, minus. Here, plus sign minus. Fourth quadrant, plus minus. First quadrant, plus, plus. Is it clear, students? X axis, it is also called abscess. A, B, S, C, I, S, S, A. Abscess. Abscess means X axis. Ordinate means O, R, D, I, N, A, T, E. Ordinate means y axis. Abscess means x axis. Ordinate means y axis. They may ask one more question. Name the point where abscess and ordinate intersect each other means intersection. The point of intersection of x axis and y axis is called origin. The coordinates of origin is dash and dash means. 0, 0. Is it clear students? This is actually part 2. Second explanation regarding coordinate geometry. Graph means it consists of one horizontal line and vertical line. Both the lines are perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular means angle it should be 90 degree students. Angle it should be 90 degree here both x-axis and y-axis are perpendicular to each other. The point where x-axis and y-axis intersect, that particular point is denoted by zero and it is called origin and coordinates of the origin is zero, zero. First point, one, one. Second point, two, two. Third one, three, three. Because plus three, plus three. First quadrant, always plus, plus. Second quadrant, minus plus. Third quadrant, minus minus. Fourth quadrant, plus sign minus. Is it clear students? 100% two or three mark question they last based on this particular concept. I would like to explain exercise in the next part. I think this particular concept is clear for all. Thank you. In the next video, let us meet. Thank you students.